Hi, this is John, and I'm just going to show you a quick uh, video on getting started with the AllWorks Interact soft phone application. Uh, you will have instructions on where to download it, and then we will also provide you with the uh, username and password and the AllWorks server address. So what I'm showing you here is once you launch the AllWorks Interact application, you will have to enter in your username, which is always a capital E in your extension, the password, which there'll be a default password, and then it should ask you to change it once you log in, and the AllWorks server IP address, again, that we give it to you. Once you do that, you can just hit log in, and it'll go through a brief startup process, and then it'll show you on what handset you're going to select. This is where you will select your Interact soft phone handset. Um, if you click the down arrow, if you should not have any desk phones here, so you should only have the Interact soft phone. Click OK. One thing to notice as this is a booting up is if you're on Wi-Fi with your computer, please make sure you have a very solid Wi-Fi connection because you definitely want to make sure you do not have any Wi-Fi uh, issues because otherwise that will greatly affect the quality of your voice. Okay, once you it all, all works interact loads, it will be in the system tray. Um, so it should be either down in the corner or it'll be uh, where you have to look at your hidden icons. You'll see the little A and then you will just open it from there. That's where you get this screen. So real quickly, let me just go over the, from the top left, we have a do not disturb button, which will make sure that your phone does not ring. You can mute your mic when on a call. Um, here is where you select your uh, audio device. Uh, I am using a headset uh, that has a USB connection, I, that has a USB dongle, but it's a Bluetooth headset. So that's why I have my jobber link. Um, otherwise, if you use built-in, which won't give you as good audio, is right there. Um, these are for once you're in a call, a hold and recording the call. And this is just where you select your phone, which you should not have to touch that. All right, so when the default view will show you your call history and your contacts buttons, everything else will be hidden. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this little gear icon, click visible windows, and make sure that all the ones you need are selected. Um, you shouldn't have agents or queue status. That's because of uh, call center. So once you select those, then you can see on the right side, call, current calls, which there are none as blank, part calls, and these will pop in and out. Dial pad is something that you're probably going to want to keep. So I click the little pin button, and that stays there. Now, in order to make a phone call, you literally just dial, uh, you can click the contact's name here uh, in this list, or you can um, dial the number directly. So here is where I have my cell phone. So I'm going to go and double click it. And you see it starts to dial. And now I'm going to answer it over here. And now I have a call in place. Um, you can do many things once the call is in place. You see the current calls is up. Um, if you, you can transfer the call to somebody else, blind or attended. Blind means it just goes without talking to the person you're sending it to or attended. Um, you could transfer the call to the to my voicemail or to somebody else's voicemail. Um, and you can park it, which is usually what people do as they're trying to get calls around if you don't use transfer. So when you hit it on the park, now you'll see parked calls has a one. If I pop that open, that's me. Anybody else on their phone or soft phone can retrieve that call. I'll pull it back in. And now I have an active call back with my cell phone. So those are the most important aspects of making a call and the things you can do with a call. I'll have a, another video that'll go into more details about settings and uh, clicking links off websites and things uh, next. So stay tuned for that.